Come here and show me what you got. Come here. What are you wearing there? Is that a tactical Nerf gun vest? Oh goodness, yeah. That is crazy. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about it. It's gonna pop out of over there. Yeah. What is today? Is today's Corby's birthday? And he's letting you share his extra vest? Yeah, because he don't want me to pay. Yeah. He don't want me to get the blue baby and don't want to pay. Alright. Well, you two go have a nerf battle. I'm going to continue working. What are we doing today? Today, we're going to remove this hill slash stump. There used to be a pine tree here, probably about a 60 foot tall pine tree. At one time they cleared them out for lumber. So they left the stumps. There was one over there. Uh, today we're taking this one out. Um, it's hard to see it in here because of all this kudzu growing up. So I want to level this out, that way I can easily mow over this section without having to go around and go back and forth. So we're going to do that, and later we're going to have a beer of the weekend. So this is a Harbor Freight backhoe. Uh, I'm going to show you it working a little bit. I've had some people ask me about it, how well it does. Um, is it dependable, etc., etc. Uh, we have had to do some things to toughen it up a bit but uh, other than that I'll get into that later after this truck goes by we have done some things to toughen it up uh, a little work on these outriggers beef those up a little bit uh, I think one of them snapped at one time one of these cylinders up top broke uh, it got it had to be rewelded. That was on me. Uh, this thing will not take out big stumps. What I use it for is to dig a bunch around the stump and then I got to go in with the chainsaw and cut the cut the roots out, tap root and the roots that go out. And then I can pull it out. But if you think this thing is going to pull out a massive pine tree uh, stump, it is not going to. okay? So, the, uh, this is made by Central Machinery from Harbor Freight, item number 62365. It may have been superseded by now, but uh, we're going to get started. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. I'm just going to show you bits and pieces.
this is interesting. I've come across something here. Let's see if I can get this. I have not seen what this is yet. I don't know if I killed it or not. I may have. Yeah, I guess he was in here burrowing from the cold. I'm gonna go get something and see if I can't drag him out. Looking at him, from what I can see, it doesn't look like anything poisonous. Uh, it almost looks like some kind of a racer or something. So I'm gonna go get a rake hitter, something and see what I can see. The things you'll find. Yeah, so I don't, I'm pretty sure this isn't poisonous. Only poisonous snake it could be around here, that would be, that color would be a moccasin. And this one here is pretty skinny and long. I'm pretty sure this is a uh, racer of some sort. He's moving. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't call this a poisonous snake. Let's see if I can get him out. He's moving kind of slow. It's nice and cool out. That's pretty cool. He was down there pretty good. Must be in there burrowing for the winter. Uh, it was 30 degrees this morning, so. But it was up to 75 the other day. like 75 a couple days ago but I am going to go put him back somewhere in the trees and let him go because he's not a poisonous snake Right. right now I'm at the point where I'm gonna have to do some manual labor so you see how big this stump is it's a good size uh, a lot of it's rotted out and uh, chunked off but it was you know good size stump but uh, so this thing is not powerful enough to uh, just root this thing out rip it out so I gotta do some manual work I gotta dig some of the dirt around the roots out there's about five or six big roots that will be holding this. And then a big, big root in the very middle going straight down. So I'll dig around with the shovel around those big roots. And then I'll come back with a chainsaw, cut those roots. And uh, we'll try to drag this thing out probably with the tractor and the strap. Hopefully there's no more snakes in here.
All right, folks, there you have it. We finally got the stump out. Okay, so this thing by itself will not just yank a stump out. You've got to do some manual labor with it on these big boys. If you had some saplings maybe that big, you could probably do it with just this. But this was a pretty significantly large tree. All right, so we had to get in there and do some hand digging. And we had to do some chainsawing, which that's gonna be bad on your chains because you're doing dirt. So I got some cheapos on Amazon. Uh, they were like 15 bucks for three blades, three chainsaw chains. Uh, it cut through like butter. A uh, bunch of water came out. There was a bunch of moisture in there. But uh, we're gonna get rid of this stump, throw it, chunk it in the woods somewhere, get the tractor, push all this back in, but I'm not gonna show that on video. Hey, careful there. Hope Osho wasn't watching. Okay. Look, in case they do it. Yeah, don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. Supervisor, you got to keep them out of the work area. Okay. So, Central Machinery Harbor Freight backhoe. Is it worth it? Yeah. I think so. Yes, you think so? Yes. yes. Uh, like I said, I we've had to do some patching up on it because we try to use it pulling these stumps out without doing pre-work and broke some stuff. But uh, as far as digging trenches and holes, this thing works wonderfully. Hi. We're going to have a uh, beer of the weekend once the supervisor gets out of here. Remember, no operating machinery hey, while Dad. intoxicated. Dad. You want to save the beers Dad. for after the work. Dad. Okay? Hey, Dad. Hey. Boss. I'm not boss. I'm You're the boss. And then your boss is oh, Gary. Hey, do you want to make work out of the wood? All right, what we got here? Beer of the weekend. I'm gonna try to make this somewhat short because we did a lot of digging and snake wrangling today. So that's gonna take up a good portion of the video. So we're done for the day. Done operating the heavy machinery, okay? It's time for a nice cold one. So I don't know if I'm saying this right. Elysian Night Owl Pumpkin Owl. Night Owl Pumpkin Ale, our original pumpkin ale brewed with pumpkin, roasted in raw pumpkin seeds, and spiced in conditioning with nutmeg, clove, cinnamon, ginger, and allspice. Okay, 6.7% alcohol, unfiltered, and may contain sediment. Brewed and bottled by Elysian Brewing Company, it's Seattle, Washington. Okay, I don't know if I've had a beer from Washington. Pumpkin ale. Let's give it a shot. Let's see if it tastes like pumpkin or any of those other fine flavors. So it was 30 degrees this morning. It ended up being about 60. Nice day to get some yard work done. That's what we did today. Cut that tree stump out of the way, covered in. All right. Uh. Oh, that smells good. That does smell good. It does smell kind of like a pumpkin pie with all the cinnamon and cloves and all that so smell wise it smells very good let's see what it tastes like they did i'm gonna say they did a very good job okay 
they took a beer and did a pretty good job of making it taste like pumpkin pie. Not bitter, just really, really, really slightly hoppy. Not very that much at all though. I mean that, that uh, cinnamon and nutmeg and all that pumpkin pie really comes through. We're in April, nowhere near Thanksgiving. So uh, it really isn't the time of year most people would have pumpkin pie, but this is different. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna on a. Even if you're not a beer drinker, you don't really care for beer. You might like this. You know, I'm thinking uh, uh, apple cider. You know how apple cider tastes. Kind of along these lines with uh, heavy notes of pumpkin pie. So, I'm going to rate this beer. I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. At least a 9 out of 10. Okay? They did a very good job of getting that pumpkin pie taste in here. It does not taste bad at all. If you like pumpkin pie and want to try a pumpkin pie beer, this would be a good one to try. This may be out of season. I don't know. It says experience by 329 21 so we barely missed it it's uh four two so we missed it by a couple days still excellent 10 out of 10 elysian night out pumpkin l thank you for watching